Kai, this is Go. Uh, I'm currently at Porodwa Central, Petaling Jaya. Together with the today is the launch of the uh, Porodwa's brand new uh, SUV called the Porodwa Arus. So there are two variants all together. One is a standard, I say one is a pre, one is a X variant. Sorry, I cannot use standard. Uh, the X variant. So it's this one down here, which is the X variant. So we're gonna have a look at this vehicle uh, and we're gonna see what it's all about in a while more. So let's have a look. Uh, I think somebody opened the engine compartment. Let's have a look at it. What's on the inside? Okay, this is the engine compartment. The engine is a 2NRVE engine, which is a sim, which is a similar engine that powers the Corolla MyV 1.5. So it's a 16 valve double overhead camshaft. So let's have a look at the engine compartment, battery compartment down here. And then that one is the uh, brake fluid reservoir. I believe this is the fuse box down here, this one. And as you go down here, radiator, radiator cap. And then this is the radiator reserve tank, ABS. This car has ABS. And then back there is the dipstick for the engine oil. I'm still trying to look for the dipstick for the automatic transmission. Uh, when I found it, then I'll let you know. This looks like it, but it's not the standard red color dipstick. Okay, uh, there are two dipsticks over here. There's one down here, the yellow, the yellow look. And then the other one is down there. So let me look. So I can't tell from here, it's quite, it's quite hidden. It's quite hidden. I'll check it out uh, and I'll put the uh, comments in the bottom at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'll put the pause the video right now because wait for the crowd to go off. I think it's okay now. So uh, this is the X variant. X variant comes with fabric seat. Okay, then on the door trim we have uh, we have the mirror control down here. So select the mirror by turning the knob and then uh, once you select the knob, you can push the, this knob to the direction you want the mirror to go through and then this to adjust the right. Okay, then uh, when you're in the middle, it's actually locked. This one folds in the side mirror and then it's a power, your window control, window uh, power window lock button and then this one down here is the uh, the lock the lock button uh, for the door then down there you have uh, looks like two bottle holder and some little space some little storage space down there is quite dark and uh, speaker uh, all Perodor arrows come with push start button so there's a push start button over here and then this one here controls the uh, the headlight uh, beam leveling so level 5 and then to uh, level zero and then uh, this one turns on and turns off your eco stop start this one turns on and turns off the traction control then uh, down here there is a smart card reader so you can actually slot the smart card into this 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 notch down here and then the smart card is there the X edition do come with steering uh, mounted control with mode and then selection volume up volume down then uh, I cannot turn on the lights at the moment so I think that's the most all we can see for the for the uh, for the uh, gauges for the your meter your meter gauges that's all you can see for now Okay, I guess some light down here, so I think that's all. That's the thing you can see. I'm trying to get a good angle. All right, that's a good angle. Then there's an odometer and trip uh, display. I believe this one, uh, this one sets set, set, uh, the the multi info display, which is in the middle. Then you have aircon outlet with the. Uh, at least I can still turn this one on. Then is the uh, handset light. Then you have the player, which is a touch screen. Uh, I can't turn on any of this because the, they took the key away. Uh, okay, so this one turns on and turns off the passenger 
uh, the, the, the alert for the, pass the passengers not putting on seatbelt. I wonder what are these two down here. So the lock and unlock button for the door, the front parking sensor. And then we have the same uh, aircon control like the Parora MyV. And there's some, there is a power outlet down here together with a USB port which is hidden under this uh, display. For, pre for X edition, uh, the gear shift is actually Uritin. So there's a shift lock down here for you to change the shifting. So this car comes with a 4 speed automatic transmission. So you can select the gear by uh, shifting it uh, like this quite look this, this one uh, looks like a Toyota standard uh, jagged gear like this it's the handbrake and some cup holder three cup holder down here storage down there then on the passenger side you have the you see the cup holder storage down there speaker and then this is the uh, glove box and then up here you have illuminated, uh, you have some illuminated uh, uh, vanity mirror, uh, but the car is not on, so the light cannot, the light doesn't turn on. And then up here, you have your main, your map reader, and then this one controls the, the interior light door. And then uh, this is a uh, door mode on, and then this, uh, I think two mode only, uh, door and off only some storage dump here and then, and then under the driver door you still have the uh, vanity mirror like this illuminated vanity mirror okay let's go to the back and have a look at the vehicle okay this is the back of the vehicle uh, there's somebody in the front so i have to squeeze in a little bit so this is the look uh, we just try to get in so the back of the, uh, the seat back is you have the this uh, this uh, shopping hook together with the door pocket with the seat pocket and the anti snatch uh, hook is still here and then there's something on this side ah there's a USB port for the rear passenger to charge the mobile phones and uh, whatever devices that they have down here let me see the patch yeah correct so uh, charger then you have the uh, shopping hook on this side too on the driver back of the driver door and seat pocket the rear the rear trim you still have uh, regular blocks our window control and some storage at the bottom from there and the speaker from, from here too oh yes above here you have uh, you have the uh, we have the air condition for the rear passenger so there are three one two three three blowers in the back and then this is the control uh, I wonder what's underneath there but uh, oh nothing's underneath there just a sticker so the controls are here let me just Okay, so the rear seat can be rolled forward, so just uh, just push this lever down to fold on the back seat. But underneath the seat, there is a bar. It's a bar down here to adjust. It's quite dark, uh, I can't get the light in there. So there's a bar down here to adjust the seat position. And then fold on this one and lift up the seat to fold it up. And because the front passenger seat is quite far to the back, so this is so it's supposed to go into this uh, position so once you've done that you can go to the rear of the vehicle the, the back row seat itself back row seat is up there okay so you can have a look um, speed cramp for me to get in there but uh, that's where the back row seats are located So this is the back of the vehicle down here. There is nothing underneath uh, this because the spare tire is located underneath the vehicle. So those on the camera you'll be able to see but those uh, I can't quite see the thing. So that's the spare tire underneath the vehicle. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this very quickly. There is a uh, down here. 
can the last one, I don't think so. There is a lever down here to roll down the, the, the back row seat, so nobody is there, so just uh, just leave it up, the seat will go down. And then there's a strap underneath the seat like this, this strap here, there are two straps, but there's this one with the loop, hold it up, and then we can lift up the rear seat. But because somebody is in the, in the rear seat, so I don't have space to lift it up, uh, but however, uh, when I have a chance, I'll show it to you. Okay. So there is a reverse camera down here. And the lights are LED. So it comes with the factors at the bottom. And then the rear is a drum brake. The 215 60 series uh, 17 inch rim. So this vehicle is equipped with Bridgestone Ecopia tires. So for the front, so all LED lamps. So down here, I can see down here is a turn signal. So the turn signal is a, I believe it's a T20 bulb. I can't see the bulb, where the bulb is for this car, but uh, LED bulb for your Sabato, LED bulb for the front headlight. Uh, this car is rear wheel drive, two wheel drive, rear wheel drive uh, vehicle. So this is the premium, this is the X variant. Then uh, we will continue with the advanced variant which is over there once the, the crowd becomes lesser. I just kind of noticed one thing, on the advanced variant there seems to be a fog light and on this uh, X variant there is no fog lamp but there seems to be some uh, fun, uh, the front parking sensor is located uh, down here uh, We'll just keep a wait for a while for the crowd to disperse then we can go and take the uh, advanced variant Okay, I'm now at the advanced variant, the crowd has dispersed a little bit so you can have a look at the steering controls or the extra the extra piece for the well, for the advanced variant is there's a, a telephone answer button here. So I believe that this this radio probably has a Bluetooth addition. So uh, gear shift knob for the advanced variant is leather covered. Whereas on the X is uh, actually is a uh, UV tint. So this one is uh, leather covered. And then on the dashboard there's an extra of uh, silver lining and then steering wheel is uh, leather covered so this is the extra part but the advanced let's have a look at here so there is a I believe this is the autonomous emergency braking or the AEB system I believe it's it but uh, I can't, I'll, I'll, when I find out I'll let you know but I think I believe this is the AEB you can turn on and turn off the AV, the automatic the autonom autonomic emergency braking. So of course uh, you still have the, the regular like it beam leveling, uh, eco stop start, traction control turn on and turn off, and then you still have the uh, smart card reader which is down there is covered under here. So the extra part on the advanced variant is there is a HDMI outlet down here power and the USB we get to the back so similar this one this is still similar to the standard edition to the X edition and this one too okay all right so the illuminated uh, mirror okay yeah, we are you go to the back of the vehicle and have a look what's the difference okay at least right now i can at least put out the put out the lights and then have a look at here so this is the lever to lower the lower the back seat so once you have actually push this one down the seat goes down like that then locate this strap down here pull it and then if the space permits it will be up like that so that's the position of the seat where you will go um, it doesn't seem that the seat can be removed from its mount 
but um, anyway, there's a case, and then you can actually return the seat. You just pull this strap down, and then just lift up the thing like that, and it comes back to uh, original position. So uh, down there, there is a draw board. Uh, there's a power outlet bottle holder and some storage space at the back for the third row passenger then the third row passenger they seem to be no that's a location for the uh, ISO fix so there are ISO fix on this vehicle so there's a position where the thing is so I need to go in there to have a look at the location so but as his grip there are two on this side and then there's also two on the other side too and then up there is a rear, uh, the center passenger seat belt. Uh, we'll continue with this. Up. Let's continue from where we stopped. Somebody called me on the phone just now, so that's why the camera got cut off. So uh, this is the view of the advanced uh, variant. So advanced variant have been created this place in the front. So the tires are 215, 60 series, 17 inch uh, rims down here. So on the advanced variant, there is a fog lamp down here in the front, together with the front parking sensors. And up here is the location of the emer autonomous emergency braking, what they call it ASA, the advanced safety assist system on the Corolla uh, Arus. So this is only available on the advanced variant. So it claims that there is an improvement from the MyV variant. The MyV only has those two cameras out there. So according to Corolla, you see this, there's an improvement on the uh, advanced safety assist system on this vehicle itself. Okay, so um, I believe that I can't do too much today because the, the crowd and also uh, the noise level. So when, when there's a test drive on this vehicle, I would come back here again and then um, I'll come here again and then we'll look at the vehicle, give it a more thorough outlook. So I hope this video helps. So uh, until my next video, thank you for watching and bye bye. Hi, this is Gore. Uh, on my way out, I just discovered that there's another vehicle down here. So this is the, from the appearance of this vehicle. So this looks like the Parodra Arus uh, 1.5 uh, advanced variant. So this color, I was, I, was, I was told, is Amazon Green. So I can at least have a look at this vehicle with not many people, no crowd around. So um, along a line with the advanced variant, the outside, you still have the fog lamp, the front parking sensor, and the LED lights in front here. Then the, on top, you can see the uh, parking assist, no, sorry, not the uh, not parking assist, sorry, the the uh, ASA system, the uh, advanced safety assist, or the autonomous braking system. Then align with the car itself. You well, know, this is a button down here to go and open and close the door. It's a push start button. And then the interior is quite similar to the uh, to the to the variant. Uh, up there that I've shown. So from the description here, there is a, a seven seat. It's a seven seater with various kind of fold down seat, fold down position, and then uh, video recorder, ASA system. You can see them all from the uh, look down here. Then this is rated uh, ASEAN NCAP five star, and uh, what fifteen point six kilometer per liter fuel consumption average fuel consumption so you can see from the emptiness so this this is what i believe to be the test drive vehicle that's why we have all the uh, markings uh, at the side so it's a back of it and then yeah correct this is the advanced variant with the av batch down here advanced uh, version and then advanced version 2 the back there is uh, this bumper protector in chrome then uh, spoiler, this one down here with the beasting antenna at the top. Unfortunately, I can't get into this vehicle. So yeah, it's a test drive vehicle from here.
Okay, so that's a vehicle. So this is so much so that I can do with this vehicle down here. <coughs> Okay, so I hope this uh, walk around uh, does give you some info. So please feel free to see my other videos on Perodra Arus. Uh, I've also attached the link to the bottom to the uh, to the bottom of the uh, comments section. So uh, until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye bye.